atheist revolution, perhaps. Well, there are differing views within the Christian church on these posters, and I'm delighted to say that Christine Elliott, it has clearly raised an awful lot of interest as well as a lot of... I mean, do you see it as a happy and healthy debate? Indeed. Or do you see it as sort of hellfire and damnation beckoning? Ah. Christine, what do you think? I think it's also a pretty one-sided debate. The revenues don't actually say that there's going to be very many of these busing. But if your faith is strong enough, whether it's a Christian faith or Jewish, one argument, the other argument says it's just impertinent, rude and offensive. Isn't it? Yeah, but it's, it's one way of getting... But it's interesting the way this discussion is going. Is we're assuming this is an, an anti-Christian uh, message in a way. I mean, Christine, do you, do you see it as something that's directed at Christian churches of whatever type about that particular phrase? But I'm talking about this beforehand because the top bit, I think we both share your view. And if you believe, then that's fine. It's the bottom bit that is the implication that if you believe in God or believe in Christ or believe in Muhammad and what have you, you are doomed to a tedious and yeah. unenjoyable life. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's the nice. most offensive. And, and bring on the best. Exactly. Yes. So church. Mm. Fascinating. We could talk, but we're going to have to, uh, to close the discussion there. But Chris Well, we've heard from those two lovely people. We'd now like to hear what you think about the campaign. Is there anything wrong with an atheist post? Next, should the police have been given, uh, not shields and helmets, for this year's Notting Hill Carnival? I'm sure that you'll remember that those pictures of officers fighting, uh, running battles with uh, hundreds of uh, rioters, we certainly had them on most of our bulletins. Several officers were hurt, and it's now emerged that some of those involved feel the public perception of the policing had been taken uh, more seriously than safety. Lewis, for sure. Lewis, thanks very much indeed. More headlines in the capital tonight, and an Essex man has drowned on a Spanish beach. Russell Hawkes from Basildon died yesterday on the Costa del Sol. He's thought to have been on his honeymoon. Next, the author whose book launch was cancelled by the local council because he had been rude about the Olympics. Writer Ian Sinclair had planned to unveil his new book at Hackney Library. It was all booked and arranged, but their official, then officials from the council, got in touch to say that he wasn't welcome in their library. Political correspondent Simon Harris has the story. Love that story. You're with London tonight and we're live until 6.30. Still ahead, but back to tonight and they are a small army in themselves. 300,000 poppy sellers will take to the streets over the next few weeks, raising money for the Royal British Legion and their incredible work with former and currently serving servicemen and women. But again, they are in desperate need of more collectors in London. From the city and the West End to Heathrow and the O2, there are shortages in some of the busiest parts of the capital. Phil Bales has the story. They're pretty magnificent. Mm. I love the gentleman who said he's a new boy. <laughs> only been there for five months. And also, as Phil made clear, it's not only service men and women, but it's their dependents, that's widows, and also children. And it is still going on right now in Afghanistan and Iraq. So if you want more information about the appeal, then all you have to do is go to the website. It is poppy.org.uk. Let's move on to some football now, and Arsenal are in Istanbul for a Champions League game against Fenerbahce. It's manager Arsene Wenger's first trip to Turkey in his 24 years as manager. And the home crowd are famously fanatical, that's a nice way of putting it, although their team have been struggling of late. Well, ITV Sports' Ned Bolting is there, and we spoke to him just before we came on air, and we started by asking if that crowd are going to be Arsenal's biggest challenger tonight. Now, of course, Arsene Wenger's never been there before. Is that going to phase him? I remember we talked about it last time. You said about the young players needing the older players to look up to, but, of course... Go on, Ned, I've got to ask you, is it going to be a Turkish delight tonight? I can't believe you didn't have a Turkish delight joke. He <laughs> couldn't believe that you asked that either. Sorry about that. Now, talking about stand-up comics, <laughs> here's one who really did make her name as a stand-up comedian. That led to a hugely successful sitcom that ran for nine years and won numerous awards. Now, Roseanne Barr is back doing what first made her famous. She's doing stand-up, and tonight and tomorrow she's at the Leicester Square Theatre. In her only British TV interview, she spoke to our entertainment reporter, Lucy Cotter. It's a voice, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's a voice. Right, let's take a look at what is coming up after us. So that's after us, but now Robin is here with the weather. Which is marvellous, by day, insulating us. All the heat that accumulated during the day, which is kind of precious little really at this time of year, just goes, and so it's going to be quite... Thanks, Robin. And now the headlines, the capital's going home to tonight. Well, our main story tonight, plans have been unveiled for a controversial atheist poster campaign on London's buses. We can't see it. It's... I have to pick it up. 
We earlier asked... Diesel engine, big red monster, 47 horsepower, omnibus. As Flanders and Swan said, your thoughts mm. upon it. Jennifer from Hertfordshire thinks it's totally outrageous. In a life and death situation, most atheists will turn to God for help. She says this was proved during the war. Uh, Jim in Bexley makes it, thinks uh, it does make you wonder what the world is going, uh, coming to. Colin in East London, well, all I can say is thank God I'm an atheist. I've heard that one before. Uh, and Jennifer says I am an atheist and I think it's a complete waste of money. It should go to a better cause. And that is the latest from us for now. Don't forget the ITV Evening News is next. There's an update after News at 10 tonight, and London Tonight is back tomorrow at 6. But for now, from us and from everyone else on the London team, good night. Good night.